Good morning. Um, we're doing the. We're going to use our large binder today to um, apply the top and the two sides for our California Dodger um, side panel that zips off. Um, we start by getting our form strips into the binder. We a little thumb position here that goes in, and we get our. We always get our. Um, our binding started, and then we run on and off. Uh, it just is easier that way. So this is the top, and when we're binding, we always have our left hand is on the material, and our right hand is just to the right of the needle, and there's a little down tab on our binder that you can push down on. And this is the way we start it. We always bind with the white line shown. Uh, in this case, we don't have the back packet because we're going to be putting the other side on. This is going all right along like that. We get the whole top on and we run it right off. And then we just cut it like so. We come back here and we trim the sides even with that. And then even with that like that. And we take our, we just extend our three quarter inch line up. And when we're binding, we always bind to make sure that that line is exposed all the time and we always draw the line. Um, it just helps guide the binder and, and enable it to lay flatter. And for that we'll do the short side. I don't think we have enough to do the long side with this one. And in this case we're going to have to back tap it to the top. So we'll just give it a slight amount of back tap and then we just keep going. And position myself so I can control it. And you always want to look at the feed going in too, so it doesn't overlap and somehow bind up. Bind it. Just keep going along like that. And when we get to the end, we're gonna once again we're gonna back pack. We're gonna run it right off and then cut it. So I'm gonna get this out of here. We won't use this. And get set up for the next piece. Feed that in, and there's a little thumb slot right here to be able to feed the fabric out to the binder. And we'll get it started like that. And then we'll go over here. And we'll get the aft edge of the Dodger side panel sewn on the back half. Get ourselves in position to bind. this off even, like this, and here, like this, and the, bi the bottom edge will be bound with three quarter inch uh, acrylic bias cut binding, and that's that, we'll save that strap for later. And now the next thing we're going to do is, uh, just for the purpose of this demo, I'll usually do all these at once, I'm just going to take the binder off. It just comes on and off with one screw. Just put that aside for a second. And we'll run a top stitch right along the top to close everything off. And we'll, we'll be heating the top edge there. That's that. So we'll heat this edge here and that edge there. 
and our zippers um, that we'll take from our pattern will end up on the outside here along these edges here. There'll be two zippers, so it's not tight going around the corner. So there'll be one forward and one along the top. This is the aft edge of the dog. Uh, and we do that so um, we're adding three quarters of an inch of extra fabric. So that creates an overlap. So our zipper will be sandwiched when it's up inside the enclosure and you will not see the zippers. It also helps the zippers to function a lot easier because you never have layers of glass overlapped. It's only the fabric that gets overlapped. And um, that's it. Um, we have a Dodger course that we teach at our training workshop in which we build um, both a traditional and a California Dodger. Uh, and we hold one of those every year uh, for the maximum of four students. So uh, we go over all the particulars and uh, the different ways we make, we make and finish both the traditional and the California Dodger in four days. And with that, um, that's it. To finish this panel, all we have to do is you know, get our match marks from the, pan from, the, from the pattern to install our zippers correctly and bind the body. That's it.